My grandfather died from a heart attack. My father had a heart attack when he was 70. That kind of put my heart disease on the radar screen for me. When you are experiencing symptoms of coronary artery disease, you want quick and accurate answers. I had a typical stress test and I came through that with flying colors. There was a side of me said, okay, well, I'm clear. There was another side of me that said, you know, there's really probably something more here and we need a more definitive test. The challenge is that the most commonly used tests, a spec stress test and an exercise stress test, often don't provide enough information for a diagnosis. This can result in delays for additional testing to be completed that oftentimes ends up being unnecessary or a completely misdiagnosis altogether with potentially fatal results. But now there's a better way of diagnosing coronary artery disease, a non-invasive test that provides your physician with more accurate information for understanding your condition. Introducing the heart flow analysis. The process begins with a standard non-invasive CT scan of the heart. If your physician determines that no disease is present, no further action is needed. If the CT scan shows disease, your physician can send the scan to HeartFlow, where a color-coded, digital 3D model of your coronary arteries is created. The HeartFlow analysis shows the impact that blockages have on blood flow to your heart, information that otherwise would only be available with a riskier, invasive test. This personalized model of your coronary arteries provides your physician with the detailed information needed to better understand the severity of disease and determine the next step in your treatment plan. I think that patients derive a greater sense of confidence when they know that you've looked at their arteries or they've looked at their arteries rather than just a bunch of squiggly lines on a treadmill test. The heart flow analysis was the only test that was done on me that was truly definitive in defining both the amount of blockage in my coronary arteries and the flow restriction. No one wants to go around wondering whether their blockages are going to lead to a heart attack. And having this all behind me uh, has reaffirmed my optimism. Welcome to the modern way of diagnosing coronary artery disease, the heart flow analysis.